My name is Kathy, and this is another one of my how-to videos for the Yamaha MOXF8 keyboard. In this video, I'm going to show you how I uh, switch from voice to voice rapidly during performance. Uh, in my job, I use my keyboard a lot in an orchestra, and I have to cover a lot of instrumental parts. And sometimes that requires me being able to move between the voices rather quickly. So this is how I do it. First, I go to song mode. Then I go to the mixing mode, go to this screen, and then I start selecting my instruments. So I'll go to category search, and I usually have to have, a, let's say, um, I have to have a bell part. So I go to chromatic percussion, I'm gonna choose a Celeste, I hit enter, and so now on track one, I have the Celeste. Okay, so then I'll go down here and I'll navigate to track two, Go up to category search, and let's say I'm gonna pick an organ part. So I'll hit category search again. I'm just gonna choose the first organ, hit enter, and now I have that voice on track two. So I will now navigate to track three, and let's say I'm gonna choose a harp, and I know I have already put a harp in my favorite, so I'm gonna go down here, and I'll hit enter, so, and then track four, maybe just piano. All right, so once I've set up all the instruments, you can have up to 16 different instruments uh, saved or entered. Um, now I'm gonna go over here to the right of the keyboard. These 16 numbered buttons are your track numbers when this is lit. When the track button is lit up, now this is track one, track two, track three, and if you watch the window over here, as I press these numbered buttons way over to the right, you can see how it's navigating between the tracks. During the actual gig, I like to keep the uh, mixing window open because then I can see the names of the instruments. But probably an easier and even better way is to just put a little post-it note by each of the tracks. So if you're on Celeste and you know you got to go to harp quickly, you can see harp and now you're on track three or quickly to organ and piano you just reach up and look for the name of the instrument so that's uh, a way to move between voices rather easily okay if sometime during the gig you're gonna turn off your keyboard or you're gonna go out of song mode up into voice perform or pattern when you come back to song mode those instruments will not be there anymore and you'll have to re-enter them and that's kind of a drag so while you're here, I want you to hit store. When you hit that, this window will open up and it says all songs and patterns store. Press enter to store. So I'm going to go down here and press enter and then say yes. And now if you uh, navigate away from song mode and then come back to it, those instruments will still be there on that song number, which happens to be 33. That's what we set them up for. Now, if, what I'm comfortable doing, if I have the same concert night after night and I don't wanna, I'm not sure how much memory the store function has. So I like to save it on a flash drive. So I put a flash drive in the back of my keyboard. It's plugged into the USB port back there. And I will go to file and then I see where it says save, so I'll go down here and hit the F2 button. And then up uh, using my arrow keys, I'm gonna go up to all song, and that I usually save it under all song. Then I'll go down to this area here. Um, it will usually be blank, but um, I've already been playing around with it. So you can, using your wheel, you can dial up numbers and letters and save your song here. Um, if you use the SF6 function, that opens this window and then you can use your dial and I think it's a lot easier to, to name your song. Okay, once you have it named, you must hit execute, which is the SF1 button. It's now saving it. And if you look over here to the right, you'll see you navigate over with your arrow key, you'll see 33 Orc. I named it Orchestra, 33 Orchestra. And so if you turn off your keyboard, you come back the next night and you wanna make sure it's there, you're gonna to go to Load, 
hit load, go to all song, use your arrow key, go over here to the right. Whoops, I got out of all song. Let's go back to all song. There we go. Arrow key over to the right, go down, 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 down. And now I'm going to hit execute. I have to be in the load and execute. Now I always put the song number in the name of my song because you can load a song and if you don't know what song number it is, you know, you're going to have to listen to all 65 songs to find it. So that's just the way I do it. I always put the song number and then the, the name of the song. Okay, I hope this helps and makes somebody's life a little easier with this keyboard. Thank you.